Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's uh, third video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's third video. Day 10 will take us to the 31st of March, last day of the month. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know, do you? And, um, I'm so sorry, but we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the extended GFS ECM ensembles. Very much around a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at the CFS V2 at the end of the video for the next four weeks, which will get us into the second half of April. And I shall get on with that for you in a moment. <laughs> Just to say that first video you said was 6 a.m. upload. And also is 10, 14 day or two. No, you haven't with recent ECM. No, you have 30 day forecast. Uh, I don't want to say, really. Um, and uh, so check out those two vids. If you'd like to do that, like, share, subscribe on the vids. Thanks so very much, everybody. But then there, now we did a live stream uh, last night, and it was absolutely unbelievable. Uh, crazy, crazy, crazy live stream. Uh, we picked up around 38 channel members, I think, on uh, the live stream last night um, through uh, very kind of generous people gifting uh, channel membership to... Um, to Gazworth, it's, you know, viewers. So thank you, thank you so much to all of the people who gifted um, channel membership on last night's live stream. That is unbelievable. Thank you so much to all of you who uh, gifted membership. And congratulations and welcome to all of those who, you know, picked up one month's uh, free Gazworth's YouTube channel membership. It is unbelievable. Thank you so much. We have well, 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 well over... 100 channel members now i think it must be getting on for about 130 140 channel members so it's absolutely great it's probably more than that maybe 150 i'll have to count count everybody up uh you know uh this week probably um but it is unbelievable so thank you thank you thank you so much to all of you who uh gifted a uh, channel membership on last night's live stream and congratulations to you all of those who received um, one month's free at Gazworthy's channel membership. It's crazy. Thank you so much. Well, an amazing, amazing live stream. We'll be live streaming again tomorrow at 6 pm with our 10 to 14 day. So I shall see you all tomorrow uh, live, perhaps. Right, well, we're going to start off with searching temperature. The CT is currently sitting at 5.6, which is only 0.1 of a degree. Uh, below average now, so we've basically unraveled the uh, very cold first 10 days of the month in the second 10 days of the month, and uh, we're now more or less bang on average for five 10 days of the month. We'll therefore determine whether we come out with an average, above average, or below average match. I think we're going to come out above average now, to be honest, everyone. So to get 61 to 1990, uh, it looks as though it will be a mild average month, which like 10 days ago would have seemed absolutely remarkable. So just going to show how warm the weather has turned over the past uh, 10 days or so. These are the GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles for the next couple of weeks on Cardiff today. The red line is a 30-year upper air temperature average for Cardiff. Starting off above average if you have red temperature at the moment. But I'm going to return closer to average through this uh, week or the second half of this week. There is a little bit of a colder snap, a cooler interval really, um, showing up there as we get into the weekend, or just the very start of next week. It's only like a one or two day wonder. And then through next week, we're off and running into more mild weather. Actually, could turn very mild around the turn of the month. We see. Quite a push up in the upper air temperatures, uh, but maybe turning warm uh, right at the very end of March into the opening days of April. That doesn't last long either, and the upper air temperatures may look like they're returning back close to average. What we can say is it looks very unsettled from start to finish with um, plenty of uh, rainfall spikes. So the Atlantic onslaught will go on, and uh, there will be further spells of rain to come. Temperature anomalies on the 21st of March, the 29th, coming out about average a little bit above down in the south. And precipitation anomalies on the 21st, 29th of March are coming out wetter than normal, quite um, widely across the country, actually. So, uh, you know, quite mild, but also wet in the weekend. Good growing weather. Uh, right, so uh, this is race we're back from Earth No School Rock Next shows you show map once again. We're bringing in a mild push of southwesterly winds. Here we go again. 
And uh, there's a cold front through here as well, or weather system through there. Um, that will eventually be introduced so a little bit cooler to the north later tomorrow. And there's going to be more wet and windy weather on that front overnight tonight. Okay, that's like going for the chart date. But it's so late, you can get your run. Talking at midnight on Friday, low pressure out to west, very unsettled. Further showers once as well as rain. That carries on into weekend too. Through the weekend, that low pressure transfers eastwards. And we start to bring down something a bit colder for the north. So there's that little cooler or colder interval. Over the weekend, that's midnight Monday, where we are into a northerly flow event. It's only very brief by the um, time we get through to uh, midnight on Monday. Have we got that chart? Actually, we haven't got the midnight. Okay, so we haven't got that. Right, so we stop there. Right, so <laughs> this is the uh, well, as far as we can get to with the UK Met Euro run to uh, midnight on Monday. We're into a cold, northerly wind. If we went on another 24 hours, you'll probably think that this area of low pressure just here. Is going to start rolling in from rolling, rolling in from off the Atlantic, turning things uh, milder, wetter, and windier again. Icon again, low pressures in control over the weekend, and it's going to be very unsettled. Therefore, by the end of the weekend, we will, we will be bringing something a little bit colder from the north as well. But it is a very very brief and it's slow rattling in from off the Atlantic. Through uh, Tuesday, that brings heavy rain, air force winds across the country, and another push of mild temperatures as well. The GFS midnight run again looks really unsettled at the end of the week into the weekend. Low pressure pulling eastwards through the weekend, land this cooler to colder northerly wind to uh, develop, but only briefly. And then low pressures back in from off the Atlantic with further wet and windy weather through the course of next week. <coughs> Excuse me, by the time we get through to um, day 10, which is the last day of March, we're pulling up potentially a very mild southwesterly into south, but still rather unsettled up in the north. The extended range, the uh, GFS midnight run, then gets a nice ridge going from the Azores High to our south, and that could bring us a nice spell of spring like weather through the first week of April, something a little bit drier perhaps then and uh, quite warm. But GFS 6Z is uh, much of a much through the end of week and into the weekend. There's that northerly again as we get through weekend. Things will be turning a little bit colder, but only briefly, and then we're back into low pressure from off the Atlantic through the early part of next week heading on up to day 10 high pressure starts to build to our south and east low pressure stalling out to us that starts to bring up a warmer and drier southerly wind so by the last day of march we're looking relatively dry and quite warm here especially for the south and east maybe lifting the temperature into the upper teens celsius there Oh, beyond that, we just go very unsettled again, below pressure, back in from off the Atlantic, so um, much more unsettled through the first week of April with the 6A compared to the midnight run. If you enjoyed the video, please you like, share, subscribe, thank you so much everybody for doing that. Uh, drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos, we thank you so very much everyone for doing this for Gals Weathers. We need to put on around 20 subscribers to get ourselves to 15.7k, so you could give us a sub. Tell your friends and family to subscribe. That'd be absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. GM, again, with low pressure in control um, over the uh, weekend and into next week. By the end weekend, we're putting in something a little bit colder in the north as well, but only temporarily. We're back into wet and windy and mild weather by Tuesday. Um, another little northerly there on Wednesday. That brings down some colder air again, middle of next week, followed by a little transient ridge. And then by day 10, looks like we're starting to pull up something warm, potentially, and drier from the south of this area of high pressure over France. So, um, a wild ride on the uh, GM run, temperatures up and down on a day by day basis. And then the East Shore do that again, we have low pressure rolling through from off the Atlantic at the end of the week and into the weekend. That low pressure transfers is will start to pull down something colder from the north, so going to a northerly there through the weekend. That might bring some wintry showers into the door, maybe some cold nights as well. Um, keep that going a little bit longer compared to the other model out, but this is midnight on Tuesday, still within this transient ridge, which is a 
relatively cold bridge as well. So the ECM actually uh, is the coldest of model output for the early part of next week. Um, and it's not really until we get through to the middle and second half next week that we actually start to introduce those milder southerly southwesterly winds. So ECM a little bit more of a, a little bit more potent with that cold snap at the weekend and into the early part of next week compared to the other model output. This is a precipitation forecast based on that ECM run from Tobetio.com. Plenty of rain piling across the Atlantic tonight and also very windy with it too. Tomorrow and uh, on into uh, second half week, really stays sunshine and showers along the spell of rain pushing into south and southeast. Some strong winds may be there on Friday. More showers into weekend. As it starts to turn colder, these showers begin to turn more wintry. So it turns to snow across Scotland. Wintry showers through parts of England, Wales, and Northern Ireland as well. There's even a little bit of snow there coming through Northern England into the Midlands there. Oh, well, well, well. <laughs> over the weekend. Um, I'm so sorry, everyone. And uh, we keep those wintry showers going through the weekend um, before wet weather tries to get in from off the Atlantic through the early part of next week, but is struggling to do so. So that's just a load of cold. <laughs> a load of cold rain, really, through the early part of next week and not much of an increase in the temperature. If when we get to here, which is the last day of March, so it is turning genuinely milder then and uh, wetter and windier. Bees have the October table within the ECM ensembles today for day 10. It gets us to the 31st of March. And it's uh, from the Icelandic Metropolis. 26 members of the ECM ensembles with high pressure over France and Greenland. Uh, low pressure out west. Jet stream wind break if you do something like that brings drier and up warm weather into south 14 with high pressure again towards Greenland. Low pressure in, in uh, from off the Atlantic. Uh, my wet and wind. I'm a little bit giddy. Have you noticed? So after last night's live stream, I think. Uh, and 11, including the operational um, building high pressure to our south and east. So we're starting to bring up something. Warmer from the south, goodness gracious. I mean, two in time, these are the options that we've got. Gets us to the 5th of April. 15 members of the ECO ensembles up very, very unsettled with deep low pressure over the north and west of Europe. 15, or another 15, with uh, low pressure to our north, and a little bit more high pressure towards uh, France. So, uh, just a little bit drier and warmer for the south, milder for the south. 11 with low pressure again. In from off the Atlantic there, and uh, winds in from west, and then 10 have the low pressure the way to the east, um, with some higher pressure towards Greenland and out in the Atlantic, and that could be bringing down uh, a rather chilly northerly, actually. With that one, so that's telling you a little bit cooler again, that option. Uh, they all look rather unsettled, though, don't they? That's one thing we can say. Let's go through the first week of April there. Um, mostly shaping up to be quite unsettled there. Seven three two five and then we done these are five hundred millibar height anomalies broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from the twenty first, twenty seventh of March. The coming week is dominated by low pressure. So uh, obviously it is going to be a continuation of the onslaught into week two. Which is the 28th of March to the 3rd of April. Low pressure again coming in from off the Atlantic. So that looks quite unsettled as well. Week 3 <laughs> is going to be the uh, 4th to the 10th of April. With some low pressure to our east and to our west. High pressures towards Spain. And also blocking around, wait for it, 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 wait for which is the 11th to the 17th of April. High pressure is over Scandinavia. Low pressure is towards Spain. And the winds are likely coming in from an easy direction. And uh, that may be not too bad. It might be a bit southeasterly, that. So, uh, dare I say it, warm with that, potentially. And uh, who knows, possibly even a little bit volatile. Wow, wow, wow. If it's low around Spain, Biscay starts pushing up some warmth and humidity. 
Uh, it might all go bang. <laughs> We shall see. Right, we're done. If you enjoyed the video, then please do like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everybody, for doing that. Drop a comment. And let us know what you think about this and all of our videos. And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Weather Vids. And uh, thank you so very much, everybody. Uh, but down there. Right, okay. <laughs> I don't know what I've been on really in this video. Um, I started off sensible and then we sort of degenerated, <laughs> it didn't we? It got worse as we went along, didn't it? So sorry, everybody. Um, anyway, that's it for today's <laughs> bit. Tomorrow we're going to have a 6 a.m. upload. Next Energy USA forecast. And uh, we will be live streaming our 10 to 14 day as well. There may be a little JMA seasonal update. Uh, in there somewhere too tomorrow. Um, going through the uh, GMA season one ahead of the first summer 2023 season one roundup that we will that we will be releasing on uh, Saturday. So uh, just watch out. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get that in tomorrow or not, but we shall see. Anyway, that's it for today's video. You enjoy the rest of your Tuesday, and uh, for this one, that's all for now. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.